Alright, hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one only. How are all my adventures doing? Welcome back to some more Grand Fantasia. So, I was gonna make this. Ugh. PP9. It's a lot of freaking gold, too. Oh, it actually succeeded it. Nice. Now, gotta open this. Oh yeah, because I have to reincarnate. Forgot about that. Well, at least I have it now, and I can put it into my uh, bank. Also, I gotta start getting my character ready anyway, so that's not too bad. The fact that that changed to 700 so freaking deep in the pockets. But thankfully, I sold some stuff, so that's great. I think I have a few more things that are selling too. Yeah. That's why I waited. But yeah, uh, these cards are all used on this side, and this side is all reincarnation. You have to reincarnate to get this side of your talent table. Which sucks, it does, but you know, that's, that's a great part of carrying up and getting to level 100 to reincarnate, get the extra bonuses. I said I'm just putting everything I need inside of here slowly getting rid of anything I don't need which is this that well, actually that sells for a decent amount of gold if I remember correctly I think it's like sells for 10 or 5 right oh no it sold for a uh, silver I guess this one sells for silver And then it sells for nothing if you uh, actually reveal it. That's what it was. Alright, it is time to go back to questing. So now we're heading to Forest. Yeah. Winter Flake Forest. Alright, our quest is over there. That's a repeat quest. What is the repeat quest though? Just killing enemies and getting gold? Okay. The crazy thing is, with like three people, you can actually like cheese that quest pretty good. Ah, damage reduction. Here we go. Um, I close this. Let's see. Uh, no, I'm not like really near it. I'm gonna grab these though. And save my soul here just in case. But man, this year for gaming is freaking amazing right now. At least for my, for me. For me, it's amazing. Talk to you. All right. Hmm. This is a pretty uh, spacious map. Not gonna lie to you. Pretty freaking spacious. Oh, wrong way.
Ah, man. I say, a few other games just got out of early access as well. Wait, what am I looking for? Or starting to get out of early access? You got Gigantic coming back, and I'm just sitting here like, dude, can this year get any better? Now all I need is the anime side to pop off. Oh yeah, I forgot to activate another suit since uh, that one ran out. Should activate one of those as well. So far, nothing is, like, difficult to kill. Not yet, at least. No, so that'll probably change on the next map. Or at least when we fight the Elite. That's where the true issue might come into. trees that were further up here. Ah, oh, shit, really? Is this even anything yet for me? No, it's not. It's for warlords. So basically berserkers. Okay. Something good to sell. Okay, I'm gonna have to help and pick up this stuff. Yeah, because he just left this just to go pick up that stuff. It's like I just gotta kill and just wait. Yeah, now I gotta just wait for him to pick up that stuff. But it's just faster for me to pick it up. Oh god, excuse me. My soul. Snow what? Oh, the mushrooms? Yeah, the mushrooms. Ah. I cannot see. Alright, where did the mushrooms spawn? Apparently there's one up here. You can use the sprite to get it. If it, de if it decides to drop. <laughs> Never mind, it's not dropping. Okay, it's it's definitely not dropping. Game? Are we truly gonna do this with mushrooms? Oh, that is an actual map monster. A rare one, I think. Yes, yeah, a rare one. I didn't even realize it was a rare one. But still nothing. Do I have to melee it? Is that what's going on here? The only one that dropped is the one I meleeed. Okay, no. It just has a low dr drop, I guess.
Oh god, this is gonna be annoying. The sad part is, I think drop rate does help with that. drop. Yeah, it is. Maybe that'll help a little bit. This is what I'm hoping. Hello? Are we not gonna drop my freaking quest now? Am I losing the mushrooms now? Like, I was okay when I was losing drop ways to monsters, but I'm losing to mushrooms? Jesus, man. Okay, so now we need three more. Mushrooms, please. Okay, dude. All right, brother. All right. Who do I have to fight about these mushrooms? That one. Okay, I was about to say that one didn't show back up yet. Oh, for fuck's sake. Dude, are we really doing this now? Thank you. Now one more. Oh my god, you... Thank you. Jesus Christ, dude. Now I hate mushrooms more than I already have. Alright, let's go do this quest now. Do the classic, turn them all in at once, then move to the next area. No, I haven't summoned Bagel. I just keep forgetting to summon them, or sometimes I just don't need them. I guess it's mostly I just don't need them right now. Oh, yeah, I've still been searching for a sprite that gives, uh, what was it? That still gives hunting. At the moment. That is like 81. I want to get it before I hit 81, that's for sure. I have to grind all my gear. The issue is gold is going... Yeah, the gold is going to play a big part in that. Oh, God damn, bro just got obliterated from the planet. I have thought about going back to um, 
Eden Eternal. Because Eden Eternal has been getting like a whole bunch of regular updates like every week. Like actual content updates, not like costumes or anything like that. Like new dungeons are opening up for people. Was well, it either every week or every two weeks that they're getting dungeon content? I haven't really kept up with what Twin Saga is doing or Astral Tale is doing now. I've been waiting for them to get more classes in the game before I even go back and touch it. But yeah, I'm going to be trying to aggressively level. Oh, that is a rare boss, or is it just a normal field boss? What the hell? Why'd you attack him? Yeah, that's a rare boss. A rare monster. Can't call them bosses because they're affected by stuns and stuff. It's not going to drop my last two items. Okay, thank you. Okay, next is the Yetis and the Bears. <laughs> Freaking hiccups, man. I was about to say, wait a minute. So I'm going to try and do an area once a day. As long as I don't procrastinate, I'm good. I definitely got to do it before gigantic release. So level road to level 100, man. I mean, we're halfway there. I mean, it's just gonna take us way longer to get there than it took us to get to level 70. I figured that's what you're gonna do. Get me out of that. I 
Part of me so hopes there's a dungeon with uh, power of frost in them. But I don't think there is, sadly. I think this is the only, like, area that doesn't have, like, a dungeon. Like, this upper area up here does not have a dungeon, from what I know. From what I know, at least. So I'm kind of curious of what's going to... What's going to go on here? Because normally all bigger areas have like their own powers they could farm. Especially since I haven't gotten like this far questing wise. Because considering like I said, I, I, I P leveled by dungeon. And P level took for ever, honestly. At least until I got my Toa gear. That was actually a different story. As soon as I got that gear, I just started steamrolling everything. So if you guys ever had the time, well, if you guys know how to like plan your schedule for when bosses show up. <laughs> it's the only way I can kind of like phrase that do do world bosses get your toe up here if you can't do bosses wait for them to show up in auction so save up a whole bunch of gold they mostly go around like well they're actually a lot cheaper now they're probably like 12 to 15k depending on on which one though I know Lovers is around that area. I know, um, what else? I know Lovers around that area. This was normally like 20,000 to like 25,000. Same with, uh, Will of Will of Fortune as well. There was another one. There was another set of uh, hundred gear that was outside of this one. I don't remember what it's called. Oh, there it is. is that it? Yeah, here it is. I say so far this is. One of the more rarer ones I haven't seen around too much. Uh, it is a Toa gear. It's actually a lot lower. Yeah, a lot lower level. But for some reason, people sell this one for a lot. I don't know why, considering it's, like I said, lower level one. Honestly, yeah, I don't I don't see why Hmm, I don't know people do weird things anywho uh, bears Uh, I was hoping that was another blueprint I could sell. Hello, bear. I was looking for you. Now we return. I should also remember to pick that up once I'm done with these quests.
I also looked at the... Uh, what was it? Thailand? Thailand version of the game? I think that's what it was. I looked at their website. I would say their website has a lot of like bundles and stuff like that that you can buy. You can straight up buy resources that you need too. And I was sitting here like, why doesn't our game have that? Because that version is completely different from the global version. Global version has, wasn't like French, English, and something else. I think it was Spanish? Was it Spanish? It goes, Global has like three to four different languages, but Thailand, Thailand, I think it, okay, I think it's Thailand. I, I don't know. Either that or it's the Chinese version. Whichever one has its own little site that's not even close to ours. And I was sitting there like, dude, we would love, well, some of us, more than likely a lot of people, would love the Spender events to come back the way that Area Games did them. Because the way that Area Games did them, you could actually, like, mid-max and, you know, get the rewards and stuff like that. Sadly, GM Wishes doesn't exist anymore, so you can't just be like, okay, I want, like, a certain item out of here. I just want, you know, the last piece of gear that I've been farming. Or I want a red gear out of that or I want you know a title that you can't get through normal means <laughs> rogue like rogue knight you can't get that anymore like I said can't get rogue knight because it was a GM only well GM wish only it's kind of crazy man I thought they would have that would have been the first thing they worked on Then again, I don't think. Actually, have I? I haven't checked the Eden Eternal, like site. I don't think they have it either. Make sure I check all of them. Uh, we gotta go back up there. Also gotta go this way. So I get the Grizzlies first. Wait, how did I hit you out of that? I forgot I have no more ammo for my uh, rifle. I totally forgot I could have hit up like a... Okay, I need one more grizzly. I was supposed to hit up a um, general store. track it is so I'm just gonna put this out here too this is general store lady right here is it you no you're not it why is it telling me you
wow, there really isn't a shop on this map. Okay. Well, shit. <laughs> that doesn't help me. Okay, then. I was say, did they show up? Come here, Grizzly. Wait, did you not? I thought I summoned you. Apparently I did not. I was talking about something that I got distracted distracted by um questing. Nah, I was talking about gaming, wasn't I? This year, gaming being good for me. Uh, so I still gotta play some more Power World, because we still don't have Legendary Armor. So that's still a thing. That I gotta do before uh, the next content for raids come out and stuff like that. But then again, with it being like a 3% chance of drop, or is something we're probably going to have to do without. <laughs> so I guess me and me and the group are just going to be waiting on that. Right now, we're all addicted to Grand Blue Fantasy Relink right now. Well, especially them. Me personally, I've just been chilling. I say I've also haven't been able to play as much as I want at the moment. Since as soon as I get home, I'm tired. If that or neither record Grand, <laughs> neither record Grand Fantasia. Go grab that one. Stop. Okay, game. Really? The delay? Again? On picking up items? So I would love to ask uh, how bad has the server's been for you, all of you? I was just been curious. Have the servers been like very laggy as of late or have they just been perfectly fine for you guys? Maybe it's just me. I've just been curious about that these past few days. When I do play, it's kind of like off and on, really. It's mostly it's mostly worse after like uh, maintenance, really. 
because as soon as main is done, it's just like that's when that all happens. See, the little shit always just tries to go through to the next item it sees instead of picking up the one that's closest. God, I hate sprites. But they're a necessary evil to this, to this game, unfortunately. Wait. No, it's you guys that I hate. The green ones. Okay. So now I need to head here. And kill all of your totems. Okay, at least it has better spawns for totems than, you know, other maps. Because usually they'll drop like, hey, destroy this item. Destroy like five or six of these items and it'll just be like three different spots. Oh, what's I am pushing your wrong buttons. I didn't fill out of that. Could have sworn it did. I guess I saw the skulls. That's probably what it was. I'll say it says there's one over here. Oh, there's the last one. And now we ride off into the sunset all the way back. Oh, actually, which one is this one? Okay, we'd, we'll deliver that one first. Because that was closer. So all I can tell you is, as soon as this video is over, I'm going straight to sleep. I'm tired. <laughs> I is very tired. I've been yawning this whole time. I can't stop myself. That's the sad part. Oh my god, you douche. When I'm not trying to collect and fight enemies, you guys aggro on. But when I am, you guys are just like, you know what? I'm blind today.
The grind never stops. Not for the... No, so I'll probably try and uh, get a lot of areas done on the weekend. At least try. That's if I don't procrastinate and end up working on my game instead. <laughs> Because I would prefer to do that anytime. Either that or I procrastinate and end up sleeping. <laughs> That's also another one. Either that or procrastinate and go to go play games with uh, friends. That also works too. That one happens a lot. Fight tree dude now. Okay, we'll fight the tree dude first, then we'll go to the yetis. Then we'll curve around and go fight those guys, I guess. So we gotta go talk to him. I feel like that's a transition to over here. So we're going to do these two first and turn those in, then we'll transfer over there. We have 151 now. Nice. Didn't take us long to build that up, to be honest. Now we gotta go pick up, do an item quest. Great, that's always, that's that's so fun. That's always fun, you know. <laughs> uh, my suffering never ends. Surely it'll drop the items I need, right? Right. Right, game. Ah, oh, wait, no, those are the hunters. I don't need those. How do you tell them apart? The warriors have hammers. The elders have hammers. God damn it. That did not help. Oh, wow. I just realized. Strategic 
sniper, since it does like weapon damage, well, range damage over time, I'm constantly stealing HP since it does bleed, and bleed also procs the life steal. That's funny. Okay, that kind of feels like very strong, but who knows. Well, it's not very strong versus like reflection, but you know. But now you can see those numbers. So it does like 2,000. Just off that. I say not too bad. Plus you gotta remember every four seconds it stacks, so Okay, if they live long enough I could probably see it, but you know. When they hit the once they hit the HP, well the halfway point of that HP is pretty much you can't see it from there. Okay, the hunters have axes. That's what makes them fit. But stop giving me this. I am not cooking right now. I have started back exercising though. Trying to get back into shape. I don't know. Man, I've just been feeling like a lot. What's the word? Heavier? My usual lighter self. So I started like cutting down on portions and everything and started getting back into shape. I say being consistent is the only issue with that, to be honest. I feel like I can be consistent, I just gotta actually like, you know, it's mostly just the food portion part. Once I get back into my self that pretty much ends up eating less, how do I say it? Once I get to where I'm less hungry and have less of an appetite. I should be good from there. I plan on playing uh, the Nintendo Fit on a weekend for an hour. And doing some other exercises after that. So I'm going to end up being sore for that weekend. That's going to be fun. So basically my will weekend is my whole weekend is packed along with recording Grand Fantasia and playing with friends. <laughs> Cause I try and keep, you know, connected with friends. Try emphasis on try. Most of the time that doesn't work out. <laughs> That's at least my mission is like on the weekends when I when I have my days off. That's gonna be the main mission. Interact with friends. Keep that interaction going. Cause what's life without friends, you know? Boring as shit. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go to lightning first. Wild lightning. Imagine you name your kid wild lightning. Just look at his birth certificate and just like, you know what? We're gonna name him Wild Lightning, babe. It's like, just looks at you sideways. What the fuck did you just say? <laughs> oh, there was a, um, there was a sword I actually liked that I saw inside of uh, auction house, but I didn't buy it because it was like 20k, and I don't have 20k. <laughs> 
especially around the level that that it is at. Yeah, it was like level 84. I passed it. Um, is that it? No, this isn't it, but this one's also really good too. This was actually like extremely good for Ranger. This 85. It's this one, man. This one. The ass one. This one's actually like extremely fucking good. Especially if you can get the orange version and the yellow version of it and put them on both sides. That's actually fantastic. Because you'll have a 50% chance of proccing double attack, which means more damage. Casting fail increase, but yeah, it doesn't matter because you're stacking defense reduction. Which means you're doing a lot more damage. Unless you want to go for the attack speed and absorbing mana. Which, meh. Either of them are good to be... Yeah, both of them are good to be honest. Just really depends on like what you want to go for. If you want to go for duel, or if you want to go for. Okay, we'll go turn this in now. Or if you want to go for um. Oh, I can do this now since this is just like a one and done quest. Or if you want to go for two handed. I mean, there is a melee build, it just won't be good on Ranger. Unless you plan on being up close a lot, which you shouldn't. <laughs> so if anything, the, the dual hand, well, yeah, the two-handed sword is good because of that movement speed. Want to stay fast and stay out of enemies, uh, you know, enemies range. That is definitely one way to do it. Yep, there he is. He's, he's going to leave this one here and go for that. Every single time, man. So I need. Okay, we're almost done. We're like halfway through. I wish they would at least give us like a whole bunch of events, though. I'm not gonna lie to you, like, events right now would be great. Like, extra drop chance today, or extra XP today, like, stuff like that. Extra sprite XP today. Like, give us, give us, like, slight weekly events, you know? I feel like that would keep players at bay more than anything. It's having those, the weeks of, like, certain buffed things. Oh, I'm going after the wrong birds. I'm supposed to be going after the blue ones. I thought it was I thought it was the green ones. Sorry, my brain is mush right now. Arrows go burr. <laughs> Let me shoot arrows, he go burr.
But yeah, man, I, I don't know. I just feel like that's just the right approach, is just, like, have weekly... Weekly buffs. Or weekly ev events. Most players really enjoy things like that. I know I do. Like, if you give me, like, a weekend of increased sprite... Sprite XP? Bro, I'll be on for that whole entire fucking week. Increase XP? Hey, say less. I'm I'm there. Increase chance of dropping dark sprite chests? Say say less. Increase chance of dropping purple purple chests? You got the whole server on right now farming that shit. Because I don't think you understand how rare purple chests are and how much people like getting purple chests. If you ever put in a crease chance of purple chests, the whole entire server will be fucking full. And people will be out farming everywhere. Why are you trying to go around? Shitty pathing. Stop. You know, it's just those type of, like, weekly things that keep players, saying, you know, happy. Instead of having to wait, like, ten different updates for something that lasts for a week and just disappears. It's just like, oh, okay. Thanks for that. See you in another, like, I guess, two weeks for the next update. <laughs> Apparently, as soon as I said Dark Sprites, all the Dark Sprites to show to, decided to show up. Too bad I don't have a lot of Dark Sprite emblems. Haha. -ha. They only have like four. <laughs> On this character, at least. They're all in my bank right now. Okay, we got some quests here to do, too. Top ground leader has one over here. Oh, that's a weapon shop. Okay. I didn't even see that because that was in the way. Uh, okay. Yeah, here we go. Hey, you. Why, thank you. Now I can at least get my attack speed. When I need it. Okay. Oh, I have things here to turn in. <laughs> I totally forgot about you guys. Supposed to be turning in stuff to you. Who the hell is that, that person? I swear to God, if you take me all the way back over here, I will conflict kick you in your neck. Oh, it's just somebody in front of a uh, spire. Pathing. Shit pathing. Oh, I was about to say, never mind. I thought it was up there at first. I was about to say, what the fuck is this pathing? Now it wants me to go all the way back. You dicks. Where am I going first? Ah, uh, wants me to go there. Okay, then I'll do this first. I'll do the Birds of Paradise and the Yetis. The Yeti Spaghettis. Wait, is that a fucking repeat quest I picked up? God damn it. What does it give? Go stop it.
Always figuring out some way to pick up some uh, repeat quests. Hell yeah. Which one did I need? Rainbow Bird of Paradise? Okay, so I need the green ones. Ooh, what's that? Ah, uh, it's a freaking scroll. It's always a freaking scroll, dude. Always the scroll. Where the hell? I was about to say, where the hell are all the birds? Ah, uh, that only increases the firearms. Ah, uh, so lame. What the fuck? I didn't even read that. Okay, so only the firearms that this works, so I have no weapon swapping ability here, except for this one. Less damage per burr, dude. up the damn item. Jesus. Now I gotta go kill some flaming lizards. The only problem with that is that they're not flaming. They're lies. All complete lies. None of them are on fire. I guess they're hairdo. I guess that I guess that would be counted as on fire. Would that be though? It's not the same. Still feel lied to. To make some more ammo so you gotta go back and I gotta bring out you hi could you make me more ammo thank you ah oh, I just need one more flaming lizard God, it is. Alright, alright. Pretty neat, pretty neat. Next. So, all the way over here. Yeah, dude, I totally can't wait to get back into crafting. Ooh, I totally miss 
I totally miss crafting my gear. That that sure was fun. <laughs> that bitch can complain a lot. Have you guys noticed? <laughs> I hope you have. Because it's never going to stop. I wish I was a lot faster. Just to make the most out of this, uh, bow. Who's Fiona? Have you ran into Fiona before yet? Don't think we have. All I know is it's this way along with this quest that I need to put in. to sell on this even though he puts already put stuff on it and increase the level of it hmm he's gonna charge somebody out the ass for that wait why why did you go around wait wait what was the point of that explain to me explain to me what was the point of the loop around around the great tree. Did you just want to hit that loop instead of just going you instead of just you like what the f pathing shit terrible <laughs> like what the fuck man bro just really wanted to take the <laughs> take a detour that's crazy Uh, make me, like, one more arrow. Don't look at me like that. You make another batch of arrows, motherfucker. Do your job since you're here. Oh, little girl with Fiona. The hell is she about to do with a fucking bear heart? Or polar bear crystal. Where is that? Oh god, that's all the way out there. Okay, fair enough. I mean, there's nothing else over here, really. So I have two more chain quests. after I finish this one. That part is, even if they, even if they were to just follow the 
the neat advice increasing the chance of like purple chests. I bet you they wouldn't increase it by much. <laughs> That's the sad part. They wouldn't increase it by much and it definitely wouldn't even be for an entire week. It would just be for like probably like a few hours at a certain amount of time. I bet you that's what they would, would do if they ever did do that. I mean, they've done it before. They've done stuff like that before. I don't know. With Gravitage, they just... They just do the least. Oh shit, there's that quest. I want to be able to use my abilities. You whore. You fucking not, mate. <laughs> Okay. So now I gotta go take that all the way over to him again. Then we can focus on these. So I'm curious. I didn't get to use this. Oh no, it still says that it's at its normal uh, time. It still stays at its normal uh, time. Without the like cooldown there, because it doesn't say it's five seconds anymore. And plus only heal every three seconds that's the thing that's terrible because wouldn't okay explain this to me I get a heal by 1% every three seconds but it only lasts for five to six seconds so I'll only get 2% of my HP back? Is what you're telling me? Is that what you're actually telling me? I'm confused here. I mean, it removes the casting time of... Uh, Switching through weapons, which is which is great. Honestly, I wish it would remove the the casting for um, dummy instead. Okay, so that's the transfer quest. Transferring to um, why well, doesn't even tell you? <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's literally this area up here that we're actually catching up to in level. Because I think. Once we're done with these quests, we should be 74. So we'll be basically the right level for these areas. <laughs> Which is interesting. It's interesting to catch up that much. And I guess once we're done with this area, we're going to be level 77 with how XP is going. I think it's going to be level 77. Well, no, we'll probably... Eh, level 77 is kind of generous. I think we'll be like level 70... 
six halfway or near level 77. But I know we won't be halfway to 78. So we're going to be behind a level for, for these next areas. Which isn't bad as long as they give like decent XP actually. I'm sure they're gonna make me go up here now in one of these quests. I mean, it makes sense. Well, actually, maybe we'll be halfway to level 75. Now, we'll probably be like four instead of five, probably. Wait, Toa? Toa is seen. Wait a minute. That's not the world boss. That's something else, right? Again, uh, that's something completely different, I think. I'm about to say servers, hello? Yeah, we're not getting much XP from, from these. So I don't, I don't see us being level 75 by the time we leave here. Well, no, that one just gave us a big boost. Was that the, um, just sending something to somebody? Weston? I don't know, depending on this one. Maybe. I don't know, some quests are just hitting and mix for XP. I mean, they don't really tell us how much XP we're getting, just gold. Your little beady eyes. Yep, I knew we were going to go up there next. Take me wherever you're trying to take me, dude. Hey, we're almost there, though. We just need, like, 5,000 more. Because once we hit 16,000, I don't think we need any more than that. I mean, we could hit this cap for a title, I guess. But if I remember correctly, those titles are fucking like shit. And they really aren't like useful. I wish we had costume titles, though. Because I would love to use like a certain buff, but also, you know, appear with a better looking title. I mean, every other X-Legend game has it, so I clearly, surely this one should be able to add it too, right? No? Okay, I probably didn't, didn't, didn't think so, but you know, it was worth a try. <laughs> oh, there's another quest that just popped up here, actually. What the hell? I need to see that. Let's go uh, see if it's a chain quest. Probably a repeat. Wouldn't even doubt it, honestly. Where is this quest taking us? Because it doesn't let us, like, actually see it. Somebody's selling it at a level 5, well, 5 star, all stat mount. Man, if I had the clay for that, I would, but people charge, like, insane amount of clay for those. I 
guy. So we got that. Let's go down here to the old man. To the old lord, dude. And see what he has. Remember when quests were just taking like an hour? <laughs> now they're taking two hours. I feel like that's gonna be a set set theme, honestly, for the next few maps is two hours. It's, it's starting to get longer. It, you can definitely feel it, that's for sure. It probably won't be that long if you have a 100% combat mount, actually. If you have a combat mount, like the Scorpion, like I said, the Scorpion is the best mount in the game just because the animation decreased. But if you have like a scorpion mountain that's like a hundred percent speed, then you you're pretty much golden honestly. You'll be actually finishing it in like an hour and a half. Oh yeah, that this is another quest. So we gotta go up there and do that. Uh let's do this first. Then we'll turn to that quest. Well, actually, no, let's turn this in because this this one's already at two. Might as well turn it in and get it also at two because maybe it'll tell us to go to the Yetis anyway. I say that's a terrible thing about getting to this point in the game is because um, chain quests unlock other chains, chain quests, and leveling to a certain level unlock another, like other quests as well. So there's a chance we could just do all the quests in the next area, and we don't get a quest, and we have to go all the way back and do it again. Well, we have to go all the way back just to get that quest. That's one thing that you gotta keep in mind. It's like, there are some quests that only show up at a certain level. So hell, if I don't get to level 74, you know, I leave this area, there's a level 74 quest that just randomly shows up. You know, I could be, I could just miss that. And it might be an important quest to unlock like a certain like dungeon or something. I said, that is the thing. I don't know why this showed up. I didn't even kill anything. my eyes real quick. My bad. I was rubbing my eyes and they started burning and I was just like, ah, this isn't good. <laughs> so I had to do a slight pause on the commentary. What's up? What's on the table today for everybody to be rolling in here? Nothing good, honestly. And awesome machines this time. Got that lag.
think I should have a lot of fragments though. Nah, nah, not, not like a whole bunch, but you know, decent. I was kind of hoping something that would sell by now. Just give me a little bit more gold. Should also summon Bagel, shouldn't I? My bad, Bagel. I've been neglecting you. You're part of the team, too. Even though you keep attacking everything you see, I don't understand what's wrong with you. It's like, oh, that guy shows violence towards my, towards my owner. Might as, might as well, you know, claw his eyes out. Alright, so this guy's probably going to take me over here to this side, too. That's a build boss, isn't it? Seems very large. Okay, no, it's not. Anything that looks larger than normal, I'm just sitting here like that. That's definitely a rare monster. Guess I should just call them elites, if anything, because that's technically what they are. They're not bosses because they can be stunned and slowed by certain abilities. So now we gotta go to the ear. Can you fucking not, mate? Cause I'm just trying to get my speed boost going. You're being a dick about it. Get me out of combat, what the fuck? <laughs> I, dude, there is no way he's chasing me all the way this far, right? Game, I am not still in combat. What the f okay. I'm not still in combat. What are you talking about? Oh my god. <sighs> I think it's bugged. Oh, nice. One of these. Oh, it's because of Bagel. God damn it, Bagel. I knew I shouldn't summon you, little shit. Destroy totems again. Gotta go do my job. Yes, dear. Uh, totems. Totems. What do they look like in here? Because you're, you're telling me that there's three right here and there's not. I'm being lied to. I'm being gaslit a little bit. Oh, there's one.
Ah. Damn bagel. Bagel, I'm gonna need you to cease. Cease your behavior. Cease all of it. Goodbye, bagel. Trying to get through here as quickly as possible without getting into combat, and you're just making it difficult. You shall be summoned for a boss. Maybe. If I remember. <laughs> There's one back here, too. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. There's one on the other side, apparently. Yep, 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 yep. Alright, not being lied to at the moment. I need two more. Surely they're up here, right? Surely. Ah, oh, there's one. I'm just using the sword for the movement speed. That's all I need. <laughs> I guess that does tell me I'm going to be using the two-handed. <laughs> Only sucks because uh, that's gonna be pretty deep in the sword area, honestly. I mean, as long as I get the orange version of it, I guess that's fine. Honestly, I wouldn't mind swapping back and forth between these. I'm thinking Bo, uh, Bo procs this, because <laughs> if it does, that's going to be great for Meteor, for Meteor, uh, Shower. Oh, it's Comet Shower now. Oh, I just realized this one's 15%. I could have sworn that was 10%. I, I definitely could have sworn that was 10%, but okay. I guess it's fine. Wait, that was only a chain quest for the... for a... Wait, that was a two chain quest? Okay, I thought there would be more to that, but alright. All Damn, we're just 4k away. We're literally just 4k away. I guess I guess it's gonna make me fight the little Phil boss out there in the lake too. I'm guessing that's where that's going. It would make sense.
keep hearing this slight ding. Like, there's something in my mailbox. But I know it's not my mailbox. It's the freaking song right now. It's making a little ding noise. Ah, stuck, stuck, door stuck. Wait, I can't go through that little gap? What the f- Okay. <laughs> Alright, dude. I can't go through that little gap you just put right there. Ah, that's something everybody's probably going for. Well, most people are going for is these. To increase reputation. For the main cities. This one's for the treasure, uh committee so some people are pouring all of their hard-earned gold into that all right one more one more level ah Stuck. Which one's closer? Damn. Okay, I'll do this, then I'll go up to the Yetis. That sounds logical, right? So we will be level 74 before we leave. Guarantee now. So we actually haven't been up here in this area. Wait, do these guys count? Oh, they do. Hey, another scroll I can sell. What is this, Maholi? Is that a paladin? No, it is Archangel. Well, Archangel. Okay, that's fine. Take more damage from all. Well, since these guys are right here, I might as well. But I'm not gonna lie to you. Most uh most MMO devs kinda miss the mark of what MMOs are supposed to be, man. Most of them now, they want to make everything complicated. Like overly complicated when, you know, it's supposed to be like fun and interesting. You're supposed to feel like you're strong and have fun. The main game that missed that mark, I feel like, is New World. Just, just something about it, I just feel like it missed an opportunity. Because I was gonna, I was gonna play it, but I missed the opportunity to play it because you know. Around the time I was going to play it, it died. And I was just sitting there like, ah, oh, well. 
Well, that sucks because I was gonna, I was gonna actually like play with a friend that actually uh, was playing the hell out of it, or planned on playing it. I think it was planning on playing it. I wonder what it was that killed it. Was it bots? I mean, that's that's kind of what it lowered uh. Lost Ark. I say Lost Ark's been on a up and down scale at the moment. I say I enjoyed Lost Ark, but I like I've said before, man, I enjoy challenging myself and entering things solo. If I can't do something solo, I just won't won't touch it. If you're gonna force me to raid for my gear, it's like I I can't do it, man. Cause I wanna rely on my own mistakes, not other teammates' mistakes. I like to learn bosses the hard way, and as soon as I feel comfortable with it, then I go in with other people. Cause it's like, okay, I understand this boss now. I understand what I got to do in this dungeon. I'm ready to party with people. Because it's one of those things where if the player base gets way too far in the game, it's harder to find those new people who are willing to, like, you know, learn with you or have fun learning a new boss with you. Because they're just like mostly veteran players or players who have been inside that dungeon who just, you know, constantly go through it. You don't get that genuine feeling of learning a raid with others anymore. You probably can. There's probably some people who, who are just getting into the game. But 9 out of 10, most people aren't willing to commit. Most of them will always look it up instead of, like, you know, trying to learn it. I say that's that's one of the effects of um, forcing people to raid with other people or play with other people. I say they will they will always look it up just because they don't want to. They're afraid of disappointing, you know, or making other people angry. Oh, lag. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello? The hell? You good, game? But it's like the old rule, man. You, get, you gotta experience it a few times to understand it. That's why I'm enjoying Grand Blue Fantasy right now, because, you know, the raids aren't stupidly difficult or have, like, these annoying-ass mechanics for no reason. It's just simple and fun. I mean, they have damage check. They, have, they actually have... Like a huge damage check thing going on. It's kind of funny. Because their whole... Their whole stick is damage check. It's like, are you supposed to be here? And let's see. Let's see if you're supposed to actually be here, motherfucker. <laughs> Well, damage tracking is, isn't, like, bad. It's just, like, everybody has to, you know, pull together in that in that situation. Oh, that isn't a bad one, actually. It's actually really good if you want, like, defensive-wise. But the only thing that throws that off is that there's both... Intel well, that's... I will say that's good for a druid. 
That's good for a druid, because druid can benefit from both of those. Well, now, not only druid, can't, um, void runner, whatever the hell it's called. Yeah, can't phantom, and, well, reaper, phantom, whichever one. Benefit from that too. So if I remember correctly, they benefit from both strength and and um intelligence. There's also this shit because it goes on too, which is funny. The whole each class having its own certain things of crafting, which is kind of funny. Because wouldn't you just force players to make a character for one thing? Because would there be a point in crafting on any other character if... If that is its character stick? Just crafting faster than anything else? Okay, so I gotta get this stuff down. We're almost done. We just gotta summon a boss. But what I'm saying is, dude, I would love to get back into Lost Ark, but I would need, I would need like a group, an actual group of friends to level from the beginning all the way up. Just to like have fun with. But I don't really have like an MMO group like that. I could probably make one. I really could. But the only issue is my availability is non fucking existent. Because the only max time we would have to play is like two hours, and me with everything that's I'm doing just can shorten that to where it's be like, hey, we can't do it today, and they really want to play. That's basically what happens, I mean... Usually I start a game with a group and I don't have time for it. Which... Which sucks, it really does, but there's nothing I can really do about it, you know? So maybe one day, you know, my channel will pop off, I'll have a lot more free time, I can just play with friends. And we can do stuff like that. I could probably play with another person who, you know, popped off or probably get friends to get like a YouTube channel or something and get them to pop off. Who, who knows, man? There's so many things that can happen. You never know. You never know. These are all hopes, though, you know. <laughs> Personally, I've been doing this for like eight years. Yeah, yeah, that's not happening anytime soon. But I'm still at it just because, you know, hey, having fun, living my life, you know? You know? You know? You know, dude? <laughs> but yeah, doing YouTube for eight years, you would think would, uh, you know, demotivate me from just doing YouTube in general. Since I've only gotten like to 2,000 subscribers, it's just like, nah. After a while, I feel like that six year mark I just gave up on like trying to get like subscribers and focus more on um, just chilling and having fun okay so we got our last two quests that we can do bagel some bagel first
Okay, I could have sworn I canceled him from doing that, but all right. Guess we can turn it on since we're here. All right, we're. S oh, okay, nice. We are level 74. We also got to go back and look at our titles and everything. Because we are almost done. Nice, nice. Wait, is that another quest? I was about to say, did you pull a random quest out of your ass? Oh yeah, that quest gives me a mask too. Oh, Nightly Disguise. Okay. So I can just add that to my collection. Oh, I'm definitely just teleporting to that bitch. <laughs> Another title. Probably useless for me. Who knows? Oh, wait. It's not the, I was about to say, isn't that the same thing? It's, it's the same thing, but different name. What the f- Okay, dude. Alright. Well, we needed to go here anyway, because... Oh. Oh, no. It doesn't open up the quest to us just because we're not level, uh... 76. Hmm. What well, does it open up the area to us because we're not level 76? That makes me wonder. Should we go, um. Go a little bit off track and go do the guide quest? And start doing Sprite Valley? Because we could do that. Oh, wait. Other way. If I remember correctly, Sprite Valley is around level 70. I say we can go touch on that. Oh yeah, and plus we got that as well. These are several things that are on the little things to do if we want to. We're definitely up a meteor shower pet. This, um. Hmm. Do I want to do that? Mysterious Trap is pretty trash because it doesn't work on bosses. Because it's paralyzed and immobile. So there's never any reason to actually use those outside of like certain things. Whoa, stop that. 
I almost did an oopsie. This dungeon opened up. That's what that was. We're just gonna hide that quest. <laughs> we might just go to Marlin instead. Start doing these two quests. Even though we could do the main quest too. And go to the sand altar. Which I believe... Is it Sand Altar and, um, yeah, Gel? I think that's, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do that later. We'll, f we'll figure it out next episode. But with that said, hopefully you guys enjoyed. It was an hour and 45 or 48 to complete, um, Winter. Yeah, Winter Frost. W w winter Flake Forest. Yeah. Words, knowledge doesn't exist in my brain. Anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm going to sleep. Until then, peace out. <laughs>